Guess which CSGO map AI is trying to draw here. How about this one? And this. Getting AI to draw images right now is really fun. You type a load of words, generally the more the better, and it spits out an image with all, or at least some, of the things that you've asked for it to draw, even if it sometimes gets the context wrong. It manages all of these new images from stuff it's learned from analysing millions of pre-existing images that are already online. Nobody really knows how AI works because it seems to have a life of its own, but you can tell that Counter-Strike's popular because even telling it to draw pictures of Strike Counter came up with acceptable images of the game. But certainly not the most exciting. Because speaking of exciting, this video is sponsored by NordVPN, which thanks to its fast 5500 servers and counting, can transport your internet access to elsewhere in the world, helping to conceal your digital footprint and to keep access to the internet open. But it's more than just a VPN, coming with an assortment of other features to help protect you online. Their website details 25 ways in which they help. One of these is Threat Protection, which will guard you against malicious websites and malware by blocking these threats before they reach your device. It will also guard against trackers, which may try to gather information about you online. Another NordVPN feature will notify you if your passwords or details are leaked in data breaches, which will help you to re-secure your accounts as soon as possible. And the Smart Play feature will help you to connect to streaming services like Netflix, even when you're abroad. Get an extra discount and one month extra free by using the code CLICKS when you grab a NordVPN subscription today. And if you're not happy for whatever reason, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Your access to NordVPN is only a matter of clicks away. Clicks. All of these places look like they could be from Counter-Strike, most of the character models too, and it even has a good stab at showing a first-person weapon model and HUD as well. All this from two words that weren't even in the right order. So we'll get this out of the way now. It conjures up recognisable representations of Counter-Strike if you type in Counter-Strike, followed by words. Better than it does with Global Offensive, type that in and it shows images from what looks more like an MMO of some sort. If you know what it's trying to show here, then please let me know. Maybe it's case unboxing. No, the AI does not seem to recognise case unboxing to be a thing. It doesn't even seem to know what Counter-Strike's menus look like. Evidently, not many people upload images of menu screens to the internet. So this forced me to create them from scratch. Counter-Strike logo makes it clear it does know what the logo looks like, especially this one. Not so much this one, or this one. But what if I add Man 3D to it? Incredibly, it keeps the pose but makes it look like a soldier. Great job, AI. I praise you more, but I suspect at some point not far into the future you're going to be stealing my job. So let's move on. This is the Valve logo. They probably went to great efforts to take this picture. So let's see if drawing it with AI could have saved them some time. Getting the AI to generate a Valve logo comes up with something ridiculously abstract. I morbidly typed Man with Valve for eyes just to see what shocking pictures it would create, but they all seemed surprisingly cheery about an otherwise morbid situation, and all seemed to be construction workers. I need to get more specific. Man with red valve on back of head is more like what I want, but the colour's all wrong. It needs to have a black background, doesn't it? Ah, that's more like it. A decent recreation of Valve's logo, even if it does look more like a tomato smushed into his head. What about this picture? Can AI faithfully recreate this image from merely a handful of words? Two strapping men bearing arms gets close. There's something wrong with it, but I'm not sure what. This one's pretty good though, though there's still something off with it. Can't quite put my finger on what. Perfect. Time to AI generate some case unboxings. No, not quite what I wanted. CSGO unboxing looks more like it, but I'm not sure what it is with these Rorschach tests. Case Unboxing Millionaire shows just boxes of money, which is the exact opposite of what it should show. Video gaming was too cartoonish. Unboxing weapons just showed unboxing weapons. Oh look, I wonder who that handsome chappy could be. Let's play a game. Which map is this? This will be easy for veterans of the game, but since it hasn't been in the game now for nearly five years, I feel old, newer players may not recognise this as being Aztec. Actually, they'll probably just think it's ancient, which works too. Though if I'm honest, it reminds me more of a 90s 3D render for a map from 1.6. Next is this one, which, try as I did, I could not get Chernobyl showing in the background, though this one might be showing the sarcophagus. Still, it's nice to know that AI can successfully recreate a map like Cache with something as vague as Concrete Courtyard. I'll stop going alphabetically now. Which one's this? OK, it's a trick question, I just got it to draw Global Offensive Seaside Cliffs, though it would make for a great map. This is my, admittedly, pathetic attempt at drawing Inferno. The Italy picture maybe focused too much on the vegetable stalls and not enough on the rest. 
It was easy to kind of get this one right, but impossible to properly recreate Militia. This one is fairly obvious, though a bit more cartoony than I'd have liked. Adding photo to the request improved it. Apparently you can also trick it into making a better image by adding 4K or 8K to the description. The map is office, by the way. Which map has Pop Dog? This one. Though the dog would often escape from the side of the train and become a literal dog. What a good boy. This one you probably won't know and it took the banner suggestion a little too literally. But it's meant to be Piranesi, that source map set in the museum castle with that orrery that the terrorists were trying to blow up. This was meant to be the setting for my Elysium map on Mars. And this is Vertigo. Yep, I know I've missed the best map in existence out. But don't worry, because I'm going to dedicate a whole part of this video to Counter-Strike's best map. Dust 2. If I'm honest, it's kind of cheating since every picture that AI generates of Counter-Strike looks kind of like Dust 2 anyway, what with how dominant the map is when it comes to this game. I tried Dust 2 Photograph 4K to see how it might look when Source 2 comes out next month, and it still looks like Dust 2. I tried ordering more features from the map, and it did a good job of looking like Dust 2 as well. I like the results from Snowy Dust 2 though, it really did feel like parts of the map that I thought I recognised at first glance. I also like how this car's sinking into the floor just here. It kind of fixated on the distant volcano suggestion in this example, making some really terrifying and lifelike looking volcanoes jutting out from behind the city walls. Among Us 2. I tried setting the map at night, and with Jupiter just hanging there, and it got a little bit too obsessed with that one feature. So I removed Jupiter and got this. Isn't it beautiful? And then I asked for a red sky and puddle reflections of chicken, and it delivered this in buckets. Great job AI. Problem is, either these results look like Dust 2, or they look different enough to not look like Dust 2. Like this beautiful example of what's supposed to be Dust 2, but overgrown and full of ruins and statues and spiky bushes everywhere. Looks nice though. AI can also be used to generate stuff in different art styles. This is apparently a Dust 2 oil painting. This is my attempt at getting the AI to draw the global elite symbol. This is me trying to get a picture of just a Counter-Strike weapon, but I ended up getting the whole player model as well, which I'm also happy about. I tried to draw surf mode with people falling off everywhere, complete with motion blur. This is a PS1 version of Counter-Strike, which isn't far off from what the original was anyway. And then I got experimental. Shrek in CSGO. PS1 Hagrid in CSGO. Sonic the Hedgehog in snowy CSGO. Half-Life Alex, CSGO. Trying to draw the elite crew yielded unexpected results, and replacing the spellings with elite speak didn't help matters either. I got some really interesting results by trying to combine Counter-Strike with super specific real life situations, like being crouched on a rooftop looking through a sniper, or hiding in a bush shooting a man in a green jumpsuit. But is this still Counter-Strike at this point? Here is what it thinks a CSGO Pro looks like. Here's the same, but handsome. Female Counter-Strike. Basement Dweller Counter-Strike. Here is somebody playing Counter-Strike while riding a roller coaster. And here's a chicken seen through a sniper scope. If you'd like to see more AI-generated stuff, then check out Two Clicks Philips video on it here. It gets weird.